Hi guys and welcome back in my channel. This is a new rapid tutorial in Blender and Geometry Nodes. In this video I'm going to show you how to set the crease feature on edges and vertices but with the use of Geometry Nodes. So first of all you know that uh, if I have a geometry like this and I go in the modifier properties, other modifier, subdivision, surface like this, I increase the levels. You can see all the cube is subdivided but if I want to limit the subdivision and exclude some edges or vertices from this subdivision, I can go in the edit mode, press 2 to select these four edges, for example, and increase this mean crease. And in this way, I can exclude these edges from the subdivision. But how can I do this in geometry nodes? So what is the value of the attribute of this crease inside this geometry and also for the vertices? So we can press tab to exit from this uh, mode. We can go with the plus menu, general, geometry nodes, and we can create with a new, a new geometry setup. And inside of this geometry, I can reset the crease, the number for these edges to zero. In this way, I can show you how to do it in geometry nodes. Press tab to exit. And we need to take this geometry node setup and move above the subdivision modifier. It's obvious. We can extrude, for example, this mesh. And for example, we can disable for a moment the subdivision modifier and decrease the value of the offset in 0 0.02. And now if I enable the subdivision modifier, this is the result. So if I want to exclude all these new faces from this subdivision, I can store the attribute that already exists inside our mesh elements, so in the edges and the vertices, but you can see in the spreadsheet only the crease edge because I used it in the viewport and as you can see we don't have any attribute in the spreadsheet for the vertices, but actually it exists. So the name for the edges is crease underscore edge and as you can see if I increase this value from 0 to 1 I have this feature enabled and if I want to exclude only the top selection I can set one and this is the result. I excluded only the top selection of this extrude mesh operation from this subdivision and now if I press shift D to duplicate in the Y axis a little bit and press this button to generate a new geometry node setup, a new copy of this geometry setup. I can set here not edge but point because I want to exclude the vertices and to exclude the vertices I can use the crease underscore vert and this is the result with the vert crease attribute and again if I duplicate these another time and click these to create another geometry node setup, I can leave the point here, but set here the crease edge. And this is another effect of this operation because it affects the value on the points of my mesh using the average from the edges around each point. And this is the result. So a useful example could be this. I can use uh, this geometry and if I want to make a subdivision effect but uh, not so big here on these uh, extruded faces, I can uh, leave one for now and insert another extrude mesh from this top selection and select this output of the second extruding operation inside this store name attribute. Decrease this distance between the first and the second face of the extrusion to 0 0.01 like this or maybe the half and now if I decrease this value as you can see I can control this uh, smoothness uh, near the final extrusion operation. Otherwise, without this extrude mesh, this would be the result. And maybe I don't want this uh, result in the final mesh. So keep in mind that this could be a useful method to have a artificial loop cut, to have a minimum result of a subdivision using only one modifier inside your stack. And that's it. So remember, crease underscore edge and the edge domain and or the crease underscore vert in the point domain or you can merge these two results together. So I can duplicate these and move a little bit, make a new setup, duplicate these store name attribute, link the same top and change these to the edge 
and the domain to edge and this is the final result in this case so feel free to play with it without manually interact with your mesh that's it thank you guys for watching this mini tutorial you can always download this project from my gumroad page feeling free to play with it if you like my work please subscribe to my channel don't forget to check the bell icon to get all the notifications of my new videos and see you to the next bye